Hi guys, it's Rihanna, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 41 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spawn yourself. Okay, assume you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So there is two groups, right? It's group one and group two. And we're looking for the probability that at least nine participants complete the study. So at least nine complete it or 10 complete it, right? But there's no 11 and there's also no eight because there's only 10 in one of the two groups, but not in both groups. So nine out of 10 completed in group one, but not nine out of 10 in group two, right? So probably a nine success and 10 success not right see if let's say group two completes it let's say group two completes nine and ten then that means this one has to be probability of nine and probability of ten complement right groups can't have nine and ten at least nine people complete the study okay and then this then is a pretty simple Bernoulli trials because we know that this is independent trials and you can either drop out or you can't drop out so there's only two answers so then once we know that it's a Bernoulli trial we know that it follows x is equal to little r is equal to the um n choose r where r is the number of things probability of success to the r power times the q to the n minus r power all right cool so then if we're looking for the probability that nine people succeeds to complete the nine people complete the study probability that nine people complete the study this is out of ten out of 10 people, nine people complete the study. And what is the probability that they complete the study? Well, if they drop out with a probability of 0.2, then the probability that they complete the study would just be one minus 0.2, which is 0.8. So they complete the study with probability of 0.8 and they drop out with a probability of one. Okay, and then well, how about when X is equal to 10? So what if everyone completes the study? Then that's equal to 10 choose 10, 0.8 to the 10, and 0.2 to the 0, which is just equal to 0.8 to the 10. This one, however, is just equal to 10 times 0.8 to the 9 times 0.2. So adding the probability of 9 and 10 together, you get this is equal to 0.3758. So that means they don't complete the study with a probability of 1 minus 0.3758, which is equal to 0.62 four one so then this in this scenario where group one has at least nine ten complete and then group two doesn't this is going to be equal to 0.3758 times the knot which is six two four one and this one likewise is going to be similar this is going to be 0.6241 times 0.3758 so then this is equal to 0.2345 and this is also 0.2345 so adding those probabilities up you get 0.4691 which is approximately equal to 0.469 which is our answer e if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye